Alright, what's up guys? So in the last video we looked at uh, Caden, also known as Void Brood 98 in game, and we coached his Widowmaker, uh, and looked at his positioning and stuff like that, and uh, as we saw his main issue was not being proactive enough. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at a gamer by the name of Crotches. So Crotches, if you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, why you think you're your rank, etc. So I'm like silver trying to get out, but I don't think I deserve silver. Like I would like be like mid gold, maybe like 2,300 plus. But yeah, I basically did my placements in like season four, maybe, but I was really bad and I didn't like know anything about the game. But um, in this gameplay, I mostly played um, soldier, reaper, and like that. So, all right, sounds good. Um, all right, I'm gonna start the criticism now. <laughs> all right. All right, low silver game. Oh wait, hold up, this is the wrong game. Let me skip forward a little bit. Apologize. Oh yeah, 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 because like the kid left. Yeah, the kid left the game, and then okay. All right, here let's go through your stats. Let's see. Uh, we're just setting AFK. Does this change? Oh, here we go. Okay. Twenty-nine hours drunk rat. Oh wait, that's okay. You didn't really get these stats too much. All right. King's row. Seems to be silver game. Probably mid silver, low silver. All right. Oh wait, no. You said you're mid silver. So yeah. Okay. All right. Playing soldier on attack. All right. So basically, if you're good enough, um. Or not good enough per se. Confident enough in your aim. Mic off. Mic on. So basically, if you're okay, then um, if you're good enough or confident enough in your aim, uh, what you can do is you can play widow on attack. What the, okay. mm. Uh, you can play widow on attack, and um, you can hook up right here and you can take shots uh as widow and you can try and get an opening pick so mm -hmm. um can hook up top get an opening pick as widow and then that can be a really good lead in because it's 5v6 and they have to walk all the way back from spawn true um so it, it can be good if you're confident in your widow aim um i don't think there's oh wait okay cool so, um, it can be really good if you're good with that, but if not, it's all fine. Um, typically a soldier, we'd probably want to be running out right door, but I don't know. I mean, in all honesty, soldier's not the best on this, uh, on this map, but, mm -hmm. uh, or for attack at least, for attack first point. You can swap to him later on in the game. I don't know. Alright, good, you're taking the high ground, nice. Uh, maybe? Okay, yeah, there we go, nice. Um, also you can't- okay, this is bad. You, we should die here. Yeah, we do. I think I do. Yeah. yeah. So, you're running up top, right? That was perfect positioning. Um, up top you can just lay into them and then you can sprint away and be fine. You also had biotic field, so you're safe. Mm -hmm. But then we jumped down and we just gave the enemy team a free pick on us. Yeah, I jumped down because I thought that my teammates were gonna, like, come and help me. But then... Yeah, this... Yeah, um, no, well, no, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't really expect your teammates to help you. Uh, I mean, like, you can call for a team, but also they were clearly not there at all, at all. Uh, so it was a pointless flank. You were jumping down 
basically four of you wanting, and you're guaranteed to die. Um, however, when you're in that position up top, it's possible to rocket jump to uh, this ledge right here. So uh -huh. you can rocket jump up there. And then you have a better vantage point. But it's fine. Alright, right here we're kind of just laying into them. Our aim could be better. Um, we're shooting into a deflecting Genji with Helix Rock down. That is not good. Uh, we're brawling here. We're not... I mean, we're getting damage in, but we're not really getting much accomplished. We miss a Helix Rocket. Um, we should really be taking high ground. We're going to lose this fight, I'm assuming. Yep, and we die again. Alright, so we keep on dying because you keep on taking the low ground. And high ground with Soldier, even if you don't have the best aim, you're going to get insane value out of it. Because the enemy team's going to have a hard time hitting you. It's a lot easier to hit shots. And then also, granted, especially when you have your ultimate, that requires basically high ground. If you're ulting without high ground, you're basically throwing. So, uh, try and always ult with high ground. Just play high ground more. Because also, you miss the helix rocket, and they have splash damage, so even if you hit remotely close to a target, you're going to boop them, and then um, still get the splash damage onto them. Like, you can... You can... Uh, nice. Nice kill on Hanzo. Um, you can also shoot at somebody's feet. If you're going to shoot on the same level as somebody, with Soldier, with Helix Rocket, uh, you want to shoot at their feet, because then you're going to boot them up, and it's very easy to track people that are moving in a vertical pattern. Uh, this is... We just wasted Biotic Field. Um, uh -huh. So, if we're going to use Biotic Field here, for one, we're not really pressured, so we could run around here. Um, yeah, and on get, top. Yeah, we could run around here, get heals, or we could run around there and get the health pack right there. But we shouldn't be uh, using Biotic Field and then just sprinting and grabbing a health pack anyways. Or, you know, just sprinting over there. Also, we're not really under pressure. Biotic Field's for more so when you're under pressure. Uh, or very drastically low. Yeah, we just grabbed the health pack there anyways, so it's pointless. Uh, this is a perfect opportunity for Tac Visor. Use it. Alright, nice. And if you would have had tac uh, Biotic Field there, it would have been uh, more valuable because you can animation cancel biotic, or, yeah, animation cancel biotic field, and so if you, uh, in this case, tap right bumper, and then tap Y, like, instantly as you tap it, you'll animation cancel the biotic field, and then you have a biotic field for sustain while you're tack visoring, because when you use tack visor, let's face it, either the entire enemy team's gonna try and hide, or the entire enemy team, or at least somebody that can focus you down, is going to try and counter you and kill you, so... It's good to have that sustain. Um, we're full autoing a lot when we don't have to. For one, we're missing basic... We just basically missed everything on that Moira. And for mm -hmm. two, uh, she's at the range where we can just tap fire her down. Especially if we're not that great at aiming. Because uh, the first four shots, I believe it is. Uh, first four shots of Soldier is 100% accuracy. So you're going to hit. Um... So your first three or first four. Uh, but you're going to... It's 100% accuracy. So if the crosshair's on the target, it's guaranteed to hit. But after that, there starts to get more and more bloom. So um, if you you can just tap fire. It works a lot better. Yeah, see, we missed this. Then, look, we just full auto her. We hit, like, three shots on her. Mm -hmm. I was just getting mad because, like, no one was trying to get, like, the healers. Well, I mean, the entire enemy team's dead, so... Too. And you, you shouldn't get mad this early on in a comp game. And your aim shouldn't be affected that much by you getting mad. So. Wait, did you just take a clip there? Okay. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Alright. I'm gonna cut this recording soon and then start another one. And then I'll fade it in the edit. Uh, but. Alright. So, your mic is freaking out a little bit. Alright, we are just brawling here. This is pointless. Um, Yeah, we get picks. Alright, so in a normal fight, we would have died quicker. 
Also, we're just like notice. All right, so let's go back a little bit. This works. All right, so right here, we're we're shooting them down. This is all good. I, once again, soldier is not that great on attack. King's row. He's not that great on King's row in general, in my opinion. Uh. I mean, some people mm -hmm. can get him to work, but he is very seldomly seen, especially the higher, uh, the higher up the ladder you get. So I would recommend not playing him really on King's Row, but whatever. Um, so right here, we're bawling. For one, we're shooting into a Zarya bubble. Never do that. She gets free, uh, free charge off of it. Uh -huh. So right here, we have the chance to, the a fight's gonna break out. There's like three people here. We got. We got Reinhardt, we got Zarya, and we got whoever that is back there. Um, so, basically, we can either go over here, or we can wrap around the back, like over here, and we can go up and get up to the high ground behind us, and then we can just have free vantage point. Soldier, you always want to be looking for... High ground. Yeah, looking for high ground. Oh, whoops. I thought that would... Sorry, is this the first time using this software? I thought this automatically... deletes itself. Alright. Whoops. Jeez. Right. I apologize. Yeah, alright. So these are nice picks, but, like, we're dead. Yeah, we're, we're just... You're brawling as soldier. This entire game you've been brawling as soldier. So this entire game you've been brawling as soldier, it's just like... Mission ain't over yet. Soldier is... I mean, he... My ultimate is charging. He's gonna get beat up in a brawl fight. Let's let's just put it that way. Like, if you're brawling, you're not... You have no hope of winning. Uh, we are... Right now... Okay, why that McCree on your... McCree on your team wasted his ult, but that's fine. Yeah, that Once McCree again, we're brawling, that. and we're getting caught out of position. Uh, this Lucio... Okay. Genji's on us, we have a delayed reaction. Um... It's not a huge deal, but, like... I mean... <sighs> Honestly, Soldier's just terrible on this map, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, but I was just trying to hold point. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. But honestly, were we pushing? Yeah, this was on. This is oh. on attack. Mm -hmm. I really, I honestly, it's just not that great of brawling. Uh, right here, these are good picks. Um, we. All right. This is honestly. So, honestly, the soldier play, like, it's impossible in this area of the map for you to get high ground anywhere. Unless you're using, well, no, even with May Wall, I don't think you, well, no. With May Wall in very specific places, you might be able to rocket jump to high ground. But, like, soldier's terrible here. Um, honestly, McCree would be a so much better pick. Granted, we already have a McCree. But, um, yeah, we could, we could play McCree. Uh, which is taken. We could play Reaper. Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah, at the end, one, one yeah. of my teammates like, told me to go. But I kept on switching like, to Tracer and all that. Yeah. Because I just wanted to hold the you, point. Cause... You could play Genji, you could play Tracer, you could even play Widow, I would say. But, like, Soldier is trash here. Because Soldier... Soldier, basically, to be able to get uh, high levels of effectiveness, he has to play high ground. And there is nowhere for you to play high ground. So it's pointless. Um, it's a waste of biotic field there. We literally had 2 HP to regain, and now we have no biotic field, and we're going to die. Yeah, we waste a biotic field there. I don't know how your team is capping this. Uh, do you pull up tab at any time? Cause I, I want to see your medals, but all right, we just shot into Sigma. We don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. So that's not a good tack by Zer. Let's go back. All right. Granted, you're not going to get too many good opportunities for tack by Zer, but this was not a good one. Uh, 
by any means. All right, so let's go back. Just, just I don't know, fourteen, twelve. No. All right, there is Bastion. There's Sigma. I think that's a Moira. There's Reinhardt. Reinhardt can pop up shield. Sigma can throw a shield in front of uh, Bastion. And basically completely cancel out your attack visor. And then Bastion just flicks over to you and you're dead instantly. So this is a terrible ult. We have no uh, we have no sustain. I mean, we could pop tac or biotic field, but that's not really going to help. We have no shield. We have nobody protecting us. It's not... We don't really have an immortality or anything from Baptiste. So... If this was a higher level game, you probably would be dead here. Uh, so this is a very risky ult. And you get it off, but... Because also this Bastion's low and the Sigma doesn't support him at all. But you just got blocked out by that shield. If you're going to push up anyways like this, then you shouldn't have stayed behind Sigma shield. You should have just ran in front of it. And then continued to attack visor. It's a waste of their shatter, which is fine. Good for us. All right, we can focus down this Bastion. It's a nice pick, or a nice kill. It's not really a pick. Uh, we need to pop Biotic Field. There we go. It's a bit late, but works. All right, we're kind of just potatoing all over the place. We need to. We we just sprayed there. Like as soldier, as soldier, you never want to spray. You always. Oh wait. You did. Uh. You know, as soldier, you never want to spray. You always want to focus down uh, certain targets. Ah. Uh. Because spraying, you're not going to actually kill anything. You're just going to spread around damage, which, I mean, it gives you ult charge, but other than that, it effectively does nothing. So, focus certain targets. That's a big part of soldier, and honestly, the majority of heroes in the game, if not all of them. Focus fire things. Call your team to focus fire certain things. This Reaper, we are not prepared for him at all. We could have focused him. Reaper should have... Reaper, alright. Reaper, because he's stalling. Nice. He went for ult. But, like... This Reaper, since he sees you're not focusing him at all. At all. You should be lowering your crosshair, like, right before he TPs in. Granted, I doubt you know the timing for a Reaper TP, but if you know it, uh, and even if you don't, you should really... You're on four ammo, you aren't prepared at all when this Reaper comes out of TP. If I were Reaper here, um, I would have focused you down, turned around, Death Blossomed, because you are one of the few things that is going to stop his Death Blossom, other than, well every stun character on your team but um you know i would have focused you because you are clearly unaware you're not focusing him at all you're not prepared and also he can two tap you so but this reaper doesn't he turns around and then goes for ult and then you guys lose fight so i don't know just saying, that's a bit of unawareness. I mean, I don't know if the majority of Reapers would have gone for you, but still, you're unaware there. <laughs> yeah, this visor is horrible up here. Right. Yeah, you're full autoing also everything. You could full auto there, but like, I don't see any tap firing from you on anything. Every time you shoot, it's full auto. Uh, who's in our... Oh, okay. Wait, what? I don't know. Alright, um... Yeah, every time I see you shoot, it's a full auto. Um, also you've died a bunch here. You're literally dying, like, every team fight, Which is not good. Um... Because that means you're not getting ult charge or getting anything accomplished. Uh, but, yeah, see, every time you shoot, you're full autoing. You can tap fire. Tap firing is, uh, you just... Okay. Alright, if you're trying to stall, you shouldn't have gone on the right side of cart. You should have gone on the left side, because that's the side where Bastion is not. And he's what's going to kill you the fastest. I mean, you're going to die there regardless, but you know, for stall. Um. 
watch you looking at their stats. Or trying to look at their career profile. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah, like, you, you can definitely, uh do things other than full autoing because full autoing you're going to miss a lot of shots that you otherwise could have hit and you're just wasting ammo and stuff so you're gonna have to learn to tap fire and burst fire and stuff like that <sighs> especially at, at long range at long range you should never be full autoing something uh unless it's like literally like a hog or something like that because you're not going to hit your shots just tap fire mm. Makes it so much easier. Also, you can hit headshots more consistently, and it just lasers people down. All right, wait, we're running soldier again on defense. I mean, well, I, it can work here. Um, with Ash, I would have ran Junkrat instead. Junkrat or May. This works. Oh, please don't tell me you play low ground. Oh no, don't play low ground. Oh, you're gonna. Are you taking high ground or? What? I I got confused because my team didn't like. I mean, your team doesn't have to play high ground. You can do hit and run, and you have biotic field, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, it's preferable that your team plays high ground, but well, no, not on this map. I mean, they could play high ground with you, but it's not preferable. See, you're full autoing here. You missed everything on that Genji. You hit him once. Mm -hmm. So you could have tap fired there and hit the majority of your shots if you had good enough aim. But even people that have like perfect aim, they're gonna miss majority of shots when they're full autoing. So okay. and we die there because we go down to brawl and we get knocked off by Winston. Also, we are in a fragile high ground position. We should have taken a high ground position that was closer to our team and had more uh more space. Alright, we're full autoing again. Helix Rock. We're going for a flank again, and we're probably going to die, and we get slept. And we're dead again. Yeah, you keep on going for flanks as Soldier. Soldier is not a... Uh, he's not a flanker. Um, you can... Well, you can go for flanks, but they have to still be high ground. You can't go in flanks brawling. Even if you have tack visor and pop tack visor in a flank, you're still gonna die because the team's just gonna turn around and focus you, you're dead. Um, mm. The last person I coached, the Widowmaker, had issues with this. She would go, and you're brawling again. You're just. Here, alright, it's pointless to stall here. You have lost the fight, and you're just feeding the molt charge now. Because it's not overtime stall. If it was overtime stall. Oh, I guess somebody was pissing you off in chat. Uh, if it was yeah. overtime stall, it'd be different. <laughs> Because overtime stall, uh, you get instant respawn afterwards. But since this isn't overtime, it's pointless to uh, try and fight them. You're in a pointless corner. That Sigma can accretion you. Yeah, the kid that I muted, he, he was like the McCree guy that did nothing basically. I mean, the he, kid that did the battle. To be fair, he did decent. He did good enough. But it was like seven. Well, yeah, but I mean, no offense, you haven't done too much either. I know. Kind of just spread damage around, so. All right, we have Tack Visor here. This could be huge. Ah, uh, that Reaper just kind of okay. Uh, that was a pointless reload. I don't know why are we waiting. Why are we waiting for that? All right, we just sit here and we we literally wait for the bomb to go up before Tack Visor. Look. You should have, the second this, this bomb goes out, first of all, it's a trash bomb. Second of all, that is the perfect opportunity to use Tac Visor because they're under pressure from bomb. They're focusing on not dying to bomb. They aren't focusing on you up top. In higher games, they will. Higher ELO games, they will. But in this rank, they're not focusing on you. They're focusing, basically, that entire team's attention is on that bomb and not dying to it. Mm. So you pop Tac Visor here. They don't know you're there. Or, well, they might, but... They're not really going to be able to do anything. Uh, and if they do, then they'll ignore bomb and your team can move in and mess them up. So, uh, yeah, pop attack visor here. You just sitting here, like, you don't even shoot. You just sit here and wait for it to go off. 
the team is going to see you there, and then they're going to be like, yo, this soldier's going to attack Visor. Um, in higher ELO games, they'll do something about that. In this rank, they probably nothing will happen. But in higher ELO games, you're going to get focused down when you're seen up there being predictable. And you get accretioned. Yeah. And you get nothing accomplished, because they have uh, sick, er, Winston Shield. Yeah. You can't be that obvious. Also, ults with pressure are always the best. Oh, hey, we swap. We swap to Tracer? Uh, yeah, because I just wanted to consult. Weird, but okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. Um, uh -huh. I mean, could work. Blink out. All right, that was... All right, let's, let's go back. No reason to blink and use recall at the same time here. Either use recall or blink forward. I would have blinked forward because recall is very valuable. There's some tracers that are very high elo. Like, I'm talking pro tracer, like Kabaji level stuff. That can live without recall uh, in the middle of a team fight, Or can deal without recall and do flashy stuff with recall. For one, this wasn't flashy. For two, uh, you're not at that level. So we need to minimize our use of recall, basically. Uh, we need to minimize our use of recall, except for in situations where we absolutely 100% need it. Because we don't want to use it, for for example, right here. This Sigma does ult. We can go right over here. Just blink one, blink forward. You're out of this range. But instead, you blink to the side and then recall, use both of your cooldowns, you have no cooldowns, and then I assume you're going to get focused, but you might not. We'll see. Uh, let's just delete that. There we go. So you waste that. Then you're blinking in, you're kind of just sitting here pouring damage on, you're attacking shield. You're not really doing anything. Alright, so right here, we should be going in. We're blinking to the side, just spraying people at like mid to long range. Uh, Tracer is very effective in a flank. Uh, we should have either taken a flank beforehand, or we should be blinking forward and into their back line, and then doing like a 180 spin or something so that we can get damage onto them. But this just spreading damage around, we're just, we're just literally sitting here, we're, we're recalling, we're not doing anything. And then we should die, question mark? Okay, maybe not. But like, we're, we're not going in on anything. We haven't focused a single target. We only killed Reaper because our May froze him. Now we're blinking back when it's too late, and they're not distracted. So Tracer, you can't be in a flank. These are nice picks, but, like, it's too late. Um, Tracer, you can't be a flanker by yourself. You have to be flanking with, with team pressure. Because then they're focusing on your team, and then they're not necessarily... The whole team isn't focused on you in the back line picking off supports. So, you don't want to be in... Doing what you're doing now, which is waiting till the last minute to blink into the back line and then getting like one kill and dying. You want to do it when the team's pressuring. So it's most valuable. We almost have Pulse Bomb. We just blinked straight into an enemy team. Never do that. If you blink straight into an enemy team, it's basically asking to be killed. You can blink through a team, uh, try to do it, try to minimize the times you do that, but never blink straight at a team. Either blink through, blink through or blink around, but never blink into. Mm -hmm. It's a nice pick. Um, Alright, we're very obvious here. This is a very delayed pulse pump. I would recommend upping your sensitivity, honestly. Uh, that is poor awareness. Um, yeah, I, I honestly recommend upping your game sen or your sensitivity. Uh, I hate to tell people what sensitivities to use, but honestly, with Tracer, it's just you need to be able to do 180s because also as you go uh, higher ranks as Tracer, uh, that's bad TP. Um, when you go higher ranks as Tracer, you're gonna have to be able to do uh, um blink melees and if you mess them up you need to be able to 180 quickly to react and also when you're going for pulse bomb you can blink through a team 180 pulse bomb a tank or something like that so uh we just took sh two shots and reloaded we didn't need to reload yet also we 
we're it feels like we're clicking just hold it down go to town on them we're like trying to get like perfect shots or something like that just go to town on people there's a lot of them all right tracer again all right we're just sitting here once again we're not focusing anybody we just ignored that Ana. We still know Ana's there. Like, Ana's gonna start shooting us. Uh, we- we could have blinked out a Sigma. <laughs> Somebody leaves right before the game's even over. Uh, we could have blinked out of that Sigma grav, but we did not. Oh, that's really delayed. Okay. Um, see what's play, I guess, and then we'll cut it. Oh, it's Bastion, of course. Let me guess, you leave. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so basically, main things with Soldier. You need to play high ground. You cannot be a brawler. Also, don't play him on King's Row. Uh, please. But you can't You can't be a brawling soldier on low ground. You have to play high ground. Don't go for cheeky flanks. Um, get better aim. Do tap firing. Uh, tap firing's uh, especially at mid to long range. At short range, you can full auto people. But at mid to long range, you should almost always be tap firing and burst firing. Uh, so get good at that. Get your aim a little bit better. It's not a crazy thing. I try not to uh, criticize aim as much because aim is going to improve the more you play like, the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do aim trainers and stuff. I did aim trainers when uh, I was in plat. I did some aim trainers just because I thought my aim was an issue and it's honestly was turned out to not be the issue. Uh, aim is rarely the issue unless you're completely potatoing on stuff. Um, it's typically game sense and stuff like that because your aim's gonna get better as you get higher ranks or um, as you play the game more and stuff like that and get more experience. If you're really um, frustrated about aim, which I doubt you are, but if you are, go into quick play. You can do aim trainers. I recommend not to do them because they train you typically only for a few head hit boxes. Uh, so go into quick play, only aim for the head. Um, uh -huh. and I recommend doing that. Uh, but yeah, soldier, stop rolling, play high ground, tap fire. And, uh, what else? I don't know. Um, whatever. Uh, I said just previously. Uh, and then Tracer, you need to go in on people. You're not going in on people. Uh, you're just spraying damage. You didn't play Tracer for very long, but you never committed to anything whenever you play Tracer. Uh, as Tracer, you want to be in flanks, so that requires map knowledge. You should know the map in and out and know all the flank routes. Uh, yeah, so basically with Tracer, I was just trying to, um... Just get the like, just get the payload just to hold. Yeah, but you're not gonna hold by spreading damage around and not killing anything. If you're trying to hold, then you should be killing stuff. Your team was there to contest. You should always be going to kill stuff. Um. Yeah. Yeah, but you want to commit to stuff. Uh, you should know the maps in and out so that you can take all the flank routes, all the possible flank routes. Um. Yeah. Try and go after supports and DPS. Prioritize them first, uh, because uh -huh. they're easier to kill. But go in flanks, pick off people. Um, what else? Pulse bomb. Uh, your pulse bombs are a bit delayed. That's also because your sensitivity is low. I would recommend gradually increasing your sensitivity higher and higher. I run 100, 100, uh, 99 aim smoothing for tracer. Uh, you don't necessarily mm -hmm. have to run that exact sensitivity or anything like that. But I would recommend upping it, definitely, because you want to be able to at least do a 180 uh, mid-blink. So, like, if you blink forward-facing, you want to be facing 180 degrees the opposite direction by the time uh, you are to the end of your blink, because um, you can turn mid-blink. So, do that. Um, but, yeah, commit to stuff. It's a big thing. Commit to stuff. Know the map. Um and go in flanks. Uh, and then for Reaper, uh, I don't know. You you played Reaper for one like one life. Uh, commit to stuff. Go go to when you commit to a target. Because a lot of times you like 
either partially commit or when you fully committed, you wouldn't go to town on a target. And I don't know why. Like, you would sit there and then you would, like, tap fire them. Like, shot, pause, shot, pause, pause, shot. Yeah, I kept on. Like, yeah, I switched to Reaper for a while because my teammate, they're like, Reaper May, Reaper May. I'm like, okay. Yeah, and then, Reaper yeah. May, it can work, but it wasn't. I don't know. I mean, it it might have been better than Tracer, because Tracer... I, I don't mm -hmm. know. But, um... Yeah, go to town. Like, if you're shooting somebody, just full out of them. Like, I, I don't know why you weren't doing that. But, other than that, I don't really have too much criticism for Reaper, as you played him for only one life. But, yeah, uh... So, yeah, focus on that primarily high grounds, no maps, uh, stuff like that. Alright, so, it's been fun. Uh, it's been fun coaching you. All right. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you later. And guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.